<coughs> okay, so starting off those fixed action patterns. Fixed action patterns, when you first begin to learn how ethologists thought about it, you immediately sense they're talking about instincts. They're talking about reflexes. They were definitely not. And terms like instinct had incredibly dirty connotations among psychologists and animal behaviorists around the time. Just because, like an earlier period, animals, humans had instincts for maternal behavior and instincts for inevitable aggression and instincts for entrepreneurship and instincts for and it was a totally meaningless term because it described anything that you wanted to say was something that's supposed to happen and that I'm good at doing. What you had instead in their view was something much more subtle. A, a fixed action pattern is not maternalism. A fixed action pattern is not entrepreneurship. A fixed action pattern is a relatively tractable piece of behavior involving a bunch of interconnected muscles and producing this characteristic behavior which had a meaning to it. Okay, nice and abstract. We will see examples shortly. But what they also had that separated it from instincts by miles and miles was animals didn't have to learn how to do it. It was hardwired, but animals had to learn how to do it better. And that was an amazing insight in terms of gene-environment interactions. The word gene was not appearing in their thinking at the time. But fixed action patterns. In other words, experience could change the way you do the fixed action pattern. Or, already harking back to the molecular lecture and that obsession with if-then clauses, what experience mostly would do is not so much change the nature of the fixed action pattern, but change the context, teaching you when to do it, when not to, if-then clauses of if this environmental event is happening, then bring out this cohesive set of behaviors that have at least some superficial resemblance to instinct, but doesn't hold up for long. This was really important. OK, so what would be examples? What does this look like? A behavior where animals simply know how to do it without learning, without experience, and they can do it right from the start, and nonetheless, experience shapes it better. Obviously, first example was all of Charlotte's babies knowing how to say salutations within a few seconds of being born there, and no doubt they would soon learn who not to say that to classic example, and this was one that Lorenz studied for years and always wanted to have the pig killed because of Nazi scum. Okay, but anyway, I digress. And other examples, you take a squirrel, you take a squirrel that's been raised in a cage without ever seeing another squirrel, a squirrel that has subsisted on nothing but a liquid diet and, and that kind of thing, and give it a nut and it will know how to crack it it will know to carry out this fixed action pattern. This is not an instinct for food acquisition. This is something instinctual for how you hold this thing and where you chew on it or whatever it is that squirrels do. It's in there. The squirrel doesn't have to learn how to do it. But what you see is you take that squirrel without any prior experience with nutcrack, and you look at them over time, and they get better at it. They do it faster. They get a larger percentage of whatever, whatever's inside there. They have a basic hardwired fixed action pattern, a bunch of coordinated muscles doing a coherent set behavior, and it is shaped by experience. In this case, they learn how to do it better. <coughs> 